It's time to go to the Serie A for our next fixing challenge. And we're going to be fixing Roma because Jose Mourinho is finished. <laughs> I prefer not to comment. And this is not me saying it. I mean, look at the stats. Roma are seventh in the Serie A. You'd think with Jose Mourinho, with all his experience coming, could at least get this Roma side into the top four. And it's not happening. To be honest, guys, if you look at the Roma team, they've got a good team of a lot of young players. Zaniolo is class. Tammy Abraham will get you goals. They've got a bit of experience with Mkhitaryan. Pellegrini's a baller. Spinazzola, we all saw how good he was at the Euros before the injury. This team is decent and they should be doing a lot better. I guess that's why we're here we're here to you know get Mourinho out s2g in and let's fix roma here's a quick look at the rules of today's fixing challenge winning the champions league is the goal with roma we can make any transfers we got a sim every single game and let's play that champions league final to wrap up the challenge also i want you guys to make an early prediction how many seasons do you guys think this is going to take i think with the quality we've got three seasons should be enough I recently saw a rumor that Jose Mourinho was being linked to the new job available at Everton. I feel like Mourinho is moving around like a 32-year-old target man striker. Just just hopping in different clubs trying to, you know, work things out. Kind of like Luke de Jong, I guess. But yeah, what's what's up with Mourinho? I feel like his tactics have just been outdated these days. And it's clearly not working. But we're here to fix the situation. First season now with Roma begins. And this is the team we're working with. I already love the defense we've got. Spinazzola is class. Ibanez, 82 pace. How does he have that? 22 years old. Mancini's pretty decent as well, just 25. Car stop is not too bad either. The midfield is where things get interesting. Pellegrini is an insane player to have. And then, of course, you've got the likes of Zaniolo and Tammy Abraham up top. Bench is pretty okay. Maitland, Niles, and Smalling. So a couple of English players in there here at Roma. And then, of course, a few players that we're probably looking to get rid of. This squad is decent. I still think it'll take us a few seasons to get where we want to be. Especially with a budget of about 40 million. It's not not gonna be that easy let's just put it that way i definitely want to stick with the 4-3-3 and that means changing a few players positions first of all what i've done i've put a development plan on pellegrini to make him a central midfielder good thing is we can do that in a couple of weeks and also doing the same thing for our fullbacks um we're trying to make make the niles a right back also might try and sign him on a permanent deal as well he'll be fairly expensive because but, but still, I think it's smart to do that. I look at this team and it's pretty clear where I want to make a signing. And it's that midfield. If we can get a better player than Cristante in there for the first season, that's a big dub. I have an idea for a certain player, a player I normally don't sign in these fixing challenges, and that's Matteo Pessina. I know he's a cam, but if we can convert him to a centre mid, I feel like him and Pellegrini in that midfield would just ball out, and getting a player like this from Atalanta would certainly be nice. So, he's on my scouting report. Let's see if we can make that happen. He should be reasonable as well, and he's got good potential too. Wow, we're already starting off getting offers from Inter. Serie A, a lot of tra transfers happen between, you know, the top teams itself. There's not much loyalty in that way but we're not letting Zaniolo go he's a big part of what we are trying to achieve here all right here we go scouting report and Piscina he's 78 rated I definitely want to sign him I think we can get a good deal on him from Atalanta but it all depends on whether we can convert him to of course a central midfielder otherwise this signing could be a bit of a waste now let me see if there's any player I'd like to maybe swap out that could be smart what about Cristante if we just submit offer for him wow that's smart well we save a lot of money doing this. Maybe we'll add like um, 3 million plus Cristante for this deal. Are they going to accept that? They are. This is such a smart swap deal. Let's go. Here we go. Piscina has signed for us. That's brilliant. And it's confirmed as well. 78 rated. Great stats all drawn. Now it all depends on this. Can we convert him to a central midfielder? Please let me do that. Six weeks, but that's acceptable. Six weeks to convert Piscina to a central midfielder. Okay, that's acceptable. And let's put him right over here. Where is he? There you go. I like where the team is going, boys. I feel like our midfield is sorted for this season. Once signing I think could be really smart for us is using Mkhitaryan and potentially a swap deal getting a better left winger I quite like that idea maybe we'll get to that a player that has not been given too many opportunities in real life this season he's just playing second fiddle to Hugman Son and other players it's Steven Bergwijn he's still 23 and I think he could reignite his career at of course Roma so if we can make this signing happen Mourinho is a bit of a past with Steven Bergwijn as well 
We'll make him a starter immediately. Let's scout him a bit. That could be a very smart signing. The good news is Pellegrini is now a central midfielder. His stats are so balanced. I don't even know what to try and improve. Maybe, maybe box to box, I guess. Or playmaker. Let's do playmaker for a few weeks and just get that weak foot and passing and everything up. Steven Bergwijn, 81 rated. If we can use Mkhitaryan in a swap deal for this, that'd be such a big dub. I know Mkhitaryan is high rated, but valuation wise, it's just, it's just dumb not to make this happen. 8 million plus Hendrik Mkhitaryan. Would they be interested? Yes, they are. Yo, these swap deals are proving to being amazing for us. Let's counter with 11 or 12 million plus Mkhitaryan. Will that be enough? Now nah, they want that 18 million. Come on now. Let's bring that down to, let's say, 14 million. Come on. 18.2. They're not messing about, are they? Conte knows what's up here. 16 million. Come on, let's save a couple. There you go. That's exactly what we've done. We should be getting Bergwijn in the setup now. And it's done. Steven Bergwijn's going to be our new number 10. We've signed him. We're going to quickly put like a development plan on him. It's got to be inverted winger. Let's get that finishing up. It's time to revive his career. And I don't think there's a better place than Roma. Okay, in terms of signings, for this first window, I'm happy. I I'm, I'm really happy with the business we've done. Let's quickly chuck in our new signing Bergwijn in there. I just want to see how this team gels. And then in January, we can make be making further improvements. Let's let this team grow a bit and just see what we can conjure together so yeah no more signings in january we've made a couple both our starters and piscina and bergwine i want to see where the team will be at in january come on guys 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 i know Mourinho is doing a bad job but this how how are we top of the league yo i just made a couple of signings the highest rated one being bergwine and we're, we're top of the league by five points as well this is a bit of a madness how on earth did this happen i told you this team has got talent but this might much talent? I don't expect this. We're top of the league within half a season. And even in the conference league, we've been unbeaten. I don't know why and how are we so good. I'm confused. Okay, I can understand why. Pellegrini has grown massively. Our defenders have grown fairly well. Bergwijn is up to an 82. Tammy Abraham is up to an 82. Who's been scoring the goals for us? Tammy Abraham, what a season. That is unreal, those stats. Zaniolo and Bergwijn doing well. We've built the perfect team right now. It's amazing. Guess what? We've got about 38, 39 million with us. Adjusting the wage budget and everything. 50 million left to spend. This January, we're going to have a bit of fun. Can I identify the players we need to bring in? For some reason, Pessina, it's not clicking for him. So that was a bit of a failed transfer. So maybe we'll bring a signing in midfield. Also need like a backup striker because Mayoral returned to his former club so you know squad depth signings and probably a good midfield is what we're looking at our first signing of the january transfer window has been made it's for fana from monaco for 30 million a bit of a different kind of a midfielder kind of more box to box ish i think it's a good acquisition he's 79 rated great competition for the midfielders and since messina didn't really work out all that well i think this is a class signing so very happy with this look at that the squad depth we're getting we put Pessina maybe instead of instead of Carlos Perez and then we can easily chuck in our new signing for Fana in there makes it a lot better and there you have it guys Raspadori has been signed for 15 million um we needed a backup striker since Mayoral went away 15 million for Raspadori I, I like it I like this guys he's got great potential good backup for Tami Abraham he's Italian as well that's a very good price we got from he's already 77 rated as well all right boys a big January transfer window normally the January transfer window isn't big for us but this time it was signing the likes of Fafana, Raspadori. We've improved squad depth. Hopefully by the end of the season, we win Serie A. That'll be a big achievement. First season with this Roma side winning the title. Let's hope so. We're going to sim all the way till the end. Okay, we're at the end of the season. And look at this. We've made the Conference League final. It's kind of fitting. It's Mourinho's former two clubs fighting for that title. Let's see how we did in the Conference League and how we got to that final. We were top of the group. That was easy. Then we knocked out Ghent. Then we knocked out Gaziantep. Wow. Okay, and then PSV. It was a cakewalk getting here, but I don't think Spurs is going to be an easy game at all. Let's get through this one. Spurs-Roma Conference League Final. Can we win our first trophy? Yes, we can. It's, it took an extra time goal from Veritude, and I'm, 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 I'm sure Bergwijn will be happy with this result. Abraham, Pellegrini, and Veritude scoring to get us the dub. And what's crazy is we've won Serie A as well. This might be one of the best first seasons I've ever had in any fixing challenge, and I didn't 
make any outrageous, unrealistic signings. I just made smart transfers to what this team needs. And look what we have got here. We've beaten AC Milan and Inter and Juventus for the Serie A title. 81 points this season. Best goal difference. L not the least goals conceded. That goes to Atalanta. But we were the most reliable team, losing only three games. So first season, Serie A is in the bag conference league as well what happened in the coppa italia that goes to denise but it's incredible that we've won the league in the first season and would you look at this stats bergwijn our top scorer i'm glad we trusted in him because he has balled out in this first season tammy abraham as well what a season from him veritu doing really well in that cdm role saniolo again incredible stats 18 goals and six assists pellegrini is a true leader in that midfield spina so as well six assists and three goals from left back wow next season we're gonna be in the champions league let's get into season two by the way if you enjoy what we do on this channel with the fixing challenges takeovers career modes and everything fifa 22 career mode related you know what to do drop a like in the video subscribe if you're new around to stay up to date with all the content we put out and now guys season two begins with roma lorte is out on international duty but i love the team we've built we're coming into this season as champions of italy boys and we've got a few players coming back from their loan spells like cheng is under that's a baller that we've just got and look at the amount of players we got we need to get rid of some of them but i love this squad for season two i'm thinking if we can improve maybe by getting a better defender that could be an option but our defenders are already very young so maybe that's not something we need to but so Certainly a better right back could help. Midfield is always there as an option, but I'm not entirely sure I want to do that just yet. It's it's going to be tough to figure out where we need to improve because this team is already so good. Oh, the money we're working with. 96 million, boys. I had to renew a few contracts, so we're down a bit on the wage budget, but still, that's good money. I think we can do big stuff this season. Oh, we do have an offer for Rick Carr stop already. 21.8 million. I think I'm going to accept this. We'll take the money on Car stop and try and sign a world-class right back i think that's smart to replace car stop i think masrawi has to be the man just feels like a player who would play for roma at some point so that's what we're going to try and do we've got the extra cash from the Mas from the of course car stop deal we're going to put in 40 million as our first offer that's going to get rejected but 64 that's still a bit too much 52 is going to be my counter offer for him oh, they, they, they'd want that 64 million man let's make that 59 come on except this for Masarawi. Wow, you know what? Let's just pay. They want that much for him. We'll give them that. We're paying big money for Masarawi, boys, but I feel like having an 83 rated right back would be clutch. We saw what Spinazzola has been doing for the side, so I really think signing Masarawi is, is a big dub. Okay, this is interesting. The release clause of Rui Patricio has been paid 14.4 million. I don't want him to leave, guys, because he's 83 rated. I know we've got another keeper. By the way, Paul Lopez is decent, and we've got him. So, even if Rui Patricio leaves, it isn't all too bad. But just want to renew him, because having an 83 rated keeper and an 82 rated keeper, it's good squad depth. We're going to remove the release clause from his contract. So, I don't think Patricio is leaving now. We get an offer for Matteo Pessina, and I'm certainly interested. It didn't work out well, well for us, man, Pessina. It just, it just didn't work out. So, I'm thinking we take the L on this transfer let ac milan have him for a decent price of course and we just can you know use that money and sign a superstar midfielder i feel like that's the play now because midfield is probably the lowest overall we've got in the team so i think i'm gonna do that we're gonna take the l on Pessina. i think it's the smart thing to do 85 million to bring in a superstar midfielder maybe we could get a bit more with like season ticket sales and everything i'm not entirely sure if that money has been factored in yep we got the season ticket money boy He's 104 million now to work with. Let's go. And I think you guys know who is the player I'm trying to sign. We're doing an Italian club. We got to bring Marco Verratti to the Serie A. And let's try and sign him. How expensive is this going to be? That's the real question. I'm going to start with a 66, 67 million offer for Marco Verratti. We sign him instantly. I think we're a team that could potentially win the Champions League. They won 100 million. Pochettino isn't messing about. Our next offer is going to be 80 million for Marco Verratti. Let's see what they come back and say. 85. You know what? Done. 
85 million for Marco Verratti. Let's go. Things you do love to see. Marco Verratti, a Roma player. We've just signed an 87 rated Marco Verratti, man. Talk about a top class signing. We gotta chuck a development plan for him to, you know, retain that overall for as long as possible. But that makes our midfield genuinely insane. Pellegrini, Verratti, and Veda too. That that is that is just unreal. Like no cap. That is unreal. Let's put Marco Verratti in there. And look at this team. This team is genuinely unreal. I'm ready for this season, boys. We're now gonna sim until January and see what's up. We're the kings of the Serie A, boys. Like, look at this. We're top of the league. And again, by a decent margin, a couple of points over Napoli, six points clear of Inter. What I'm curious about is seeing just how bad Juventus are. They're eighth in the Serie A. We also managed to win the Italian Super Cup, so that's great. And in the Champions League, we were unfortunate to be drawn with Bayern Munich in the group. Ah, yikes. But we finished second. That's great. Round of 16. It's Leverkusen. So we survived getting a difficult draw. We'll take it. But yeah, look at the growth on the team. The defenders are growing. The attackers are growing. I don't think we need to do anything, man. January, we're going to keep the team as is and just keep pushing. This team looks insane right now. To be honest, even if I wanted to do anything, I, I don't think I've got the money. So, yep. I really hope, man, in FIFA 23, EA get the licenses for all the Serie A teams. Like, come on, EA. We all know you got the money. Please, we need the licenses. It would be so much much more fun having Roma licensed in FIFA. Same with Juventus, same with Atalanta. We got the first leg against Bayer Leverkusen. Why is Veritude on a minus one? I need to check. Is he unhappy or something? Yo, like why? Veritude, we, we gotta see what's up with you. I don't know why he's on a minus one. Anyways, that hopefully doesn't play that big of an impact in this game. Roma Leverkusen, first leg, Champions League round of 16. Uh -huh. Can't believe we've lost. Oh my god, that is oh. Well, there's of course the second leg. Seriously, man, for how good our team is, if we get knocked out to buy Leverkusen, that'll be just unacceptable. Second leg, please, come on, come back. There you go, we make the comeback. What a finals, here we come. Pellegrini, Spinazzola, all of them stepping up. Next up, we've got in Borussia Dortmund in the Champions League. Yo, 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 the luck is with us so far in terms of the draw. We've avoided a lot of the big boys. Let's see what we can do, guys. Mancini's injured, that's not good, guys. We don't have too much depth. In that centre-back position, that could end up costing us. That could end up costing us. First leg against Borussia Dortmund. It's a do-all draw. Oh, boy. Second leg against Dortmund. We still don't have Mancini. That's a problem. Can we somehow get through Borussia Dortmund here? Let's find out. Second leg against him. And yes, we get through. Dami Abraham scoring the winner. We're in the semi-finals of the Champions League. Who are we end up? Oh, come on. I thought we could avoid PSG until the final, but it could be over now. Getting through PSG in our second season would be just an unbelievable achievement, and I'm not sure we're good enough there just yet because we don't even have Mancini, who is still out. Such a shame that we don't have Mancini with a broken elbow. We're going to have to use I don't even know who in that centre-back position. We're massive underdogs so they've got Messi, Mbappe, and Neymar. But you never know. You just never know. And you, uh, what has just happened? Dami Abraham has scored in the 87th minute. 1-0 against PSG in the first leg. I can't believe this. This Roma fixing challenge, everything has just been perfect. Unbelievable. And we should even have our centre-back Mancini for that second leg. This is it, boys. This is it. Second leg against PSG. We've got a slight advantage, but let's make it count. Please, let's go to all drugs. And we're through to the finals of the Champions League. I don't know how we've made Roma potential Champions League winners in a couple of seasons. Unreal. Who is it going to be in the final as well? It could, could, could be between Bayern and Atletico. Just don't be Bayern. I know Bayern have a history of smacking Roma in the Champions League. So, But then again, Atleti are a pain to... Oh, oh, I don't know who we're going to face. And it's Atletico Madrid who've got the better of Bayern. So, wow. They, they're going to be the team we play. Back-to-back -back Serie A titles. We've made it look easy. 84 points. Six clear of Inter. I don't know how we're so good. But yeah, this time we were the best defensive team in the league to Napoli were the best offensive side, but ultimately we end up taking home the title. Super Coppa, did we end up winning that? Yup, we did. Coppa Italia, what happened there? We ended up winning that too against Inter, and now we are in the Champions League final, ready to take on Atleti. This team has overperformed. I just, yeah, the fact that we're, we're in here is, is a bit mad, but you know what? I think we deserve this. Like, we've built a very smart team. The midfield is unreal. The, the defense is very quick and solid. 
and in the attack we've got some unique players Bergwijn, Abraham, Saniolo that's going to be a fun front three to use in today's episode let's go and win that Champions League before that quick look at the stats here with our top scorers Dami Abraham I'm not surprised 27 from him Bergwijn with a solid season Pellegrini mental stats from midfield Verratti coming up with nine assists to Saniolo with a big season Veratut as well Raspadori off the, off the bench doing a good job this squad is amazing and now here we are in the finals against Atletico Madrid certainly keen for this game boys this this is gonna be a big one Roma versus Atleti they're playing their three at the back formation Suarez and Felix up top to Paul Lorente they're going with their strongest 11 no two ways about it but we are as well we've got Verratti Bergwijn Pellegrini let's do this oh also quick note how many players have we actually brought into this Roma team Bergwijn Verratti Masraoui that's all just three signings and we're a Champions League finalist unreal let's do this man I love this week's fixing challenge we've built a unique side we've kicked out Mourinho and we're showing him how to get the job done we're now up against Cholo Simeone's Atleti. This is going to be fun. Oh, Bergwijn. Wow, the skills. Hey, would you look at that? Felix, Suarez, Luis Suarez again. Oh, come on. Koke, problems for us. Ja Felix now. It's Luis Suarez, what a save from Rui Patricio. He's always one keeper that makes save after save against me. Uh, but this time having him in goal is, is a nice feeling. There you go, Spinazzola, our left back, looking to... Make a run in the attack, but he just, yeah, he just stopped running there. What? The ball into the box, and Jose Maria Jimenez's header. Wow. That was a solid attempt. Steven Bergwijn. <laughs> See Dami Abraham in a good spot to maybe go for that finesse shot. Dami Abraham, oh my god. That might be one of the best goals we've scored in any of the fixing series. What on earth was that? Dami Abraham with the perfect finesse shot off the crossbar and in oh wow oh my goodness that was simply sensational it hit the crossbar and then the right post and then in that's one way of scoring in a champions league final one nil up against atleti oh marco verratti has broken through now he's not the quickest of players but he's very smart indeed looks for bergwijn first time on the volley that was a bit of a mistake I like where this game is headed, man. I really do. We're, we're moving the ball around smartly. We're winning all the challenges. It's Pellegrini now. Looking for that pass for Zaniolo. He gets there. Gets the shot off. But somehow we see a block there. I think Tommy Abraham could be dangerous in the air. But it's Jan or Black. We, we ain't making a fool out of him with these corners. Nope, that's not happening. Oh, good ball. Thomas Lemar. Inside for Carrasco. It's a brilliant ball for Jao Felix. That is unbelievable from Rui Patricio. The best double save I've seen in a long time. Yo, we need another look at that. How has he done that? First save was insane. Then the rebound as well. He stopped that. Rui Patricio is, an on, is on another level. Verratti looking for that ball for Tammy Abraham. He shoots first time, but maybe I should have just got it under control. Oh, Steven Bergwijn. Here we go. That was nice. Looking for Tammy Abraham. Ah, oh, that touch let him down. Oh, Carrasco. Good control as he puts this one inside. We got lucky with that. We got lucky. And I think the ref's going to blow the whistle for half time. We're dominating. And I think we've been the better team. So deservedly so 1-0 up. Okay, the XG doesn't agree with me there. You know what? To be fair, they are dominating. I think I got it wrong. Rui Patricio saves. We're just unreal. Our XG is 0.6. That sums up the goal we scored as well. It was just a worldie. Big second half coming up. This is nice. Going for a cross at the far post. He actually won the header, Zaniolo, but... Oh, well. Felix going for goalie. Barnes with a very good block. Now, Marco Verratti is doing his thing. Marco Verratti with a brilliant run. Yeah, he goes. Could play that ball for Steven Bergwijn. Ah, he's offside. They completely ruined that run from Verratti. It was such a good run. Marco Verratti has been very key in this midfield. Look at him just getting past players with ease. Still Marco Verratti here. Still Marco. Gets taken now then. That's going to be a free kick. Who is great at free kicks here? Pellegrini, I think, has got the best stats in the team. So we're going to try this with Pellegrini. We're going to try something spectacular and hope that it works. Pellegrini goes for goal. That was a perfect free kick. My God, how? What do I need to do to score a free kick? 
That was literally perfect. Up and down. It was going in, but it's Jan or Black. We're up again. Okay, I want to see a replay here because that free kick looked like it should have gone in. Like, look at this. It was perfect. And it wasn't going in. That's the real question. It was. Look at where All Black got a touch of it. This was going in. Unreal. Bergwijn. Good ball out wide for Zaniolo. Still Zaniolo gets taken out. It's another free kick opportunity. Come on. Oh, shit. Here we go again. Pellegrini this time. Please, 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 please. This time put this one in. Put this one in. I'm trying it again. It's again decent. This time it's off the crossbar. What do I need to do to score the free kick? Good ball in. Good ball in for Luis Suarez. Rui Patricio has saved us again as we get the ball away. Oh my god. Rui Patricio is the reason we're winning this game. 100% as Verratti sends Zaniolo through. And here we go on the attack. Zaniolo looks to bring it inside. Maybe another finesse shot didn't work we just got to hang on for 10 minutes oh look at this space is opening up for atletico now it's a chance for them here they find koke goes for goal i don't know what happened there but but yeah it's out for a goal kick okay just a minute to hang on to why, why is the ref not blowing the whistle if we concede now i'm gonna cry i'm gonna cry if we concede now cunha luis suarez i can't believe this in the 90th minute no way are you kidding me? We're going to have to go through extra time. No. It's Luis Suarez who scores. That was the last kick of the game. Endless pain. Let's just put it that way. Getting into extra time. And I'm not looking forward to this. Because we've barely done anything in that second half. It was all Atletico trying to get that goal. Apart from a few free kicks that we had. So I'm worried. I am worried. Atletico with a chance here again. It's Suarez and Rafa now. Marcus Llorente looking for that ball. Dead it away, boys. That was a risky clearance. We've seen penalties given for stupid stuff like that, but thankfully not there. Marco Verratti, very good at controlling the play. Looking for Tammy Abraham. I see Bergwijn back inside for Tammy Abraham. This is a chance. Tammy? What are you trying to do? Why are you freestyling there, my guy? That was a chance to win the game for us. Verratti, lovely ball for Bergwijn there. As we find Spinazzola, and here we go on the charge again. Spinazzola looking for Tammy Abraham. Now Steven Bergwijn. Marco Verratti here. Look at how deep Atletico are, but we've broken through with Pellegrini here. Cut back for Verratti. Ah, that ball's taken away from him, and that's going to be half time. Okay, this is our last attack here. Otherwise, this game is going to penalties, and I do not want that to happen here. Bergwijn has basically walked through here. Cut back. Verratti, we've scored in the 128th minute, and it's Marco Verratti. What a relief. It had to be him. It had to be him. We've just won the Champions League in the 120th minute. Yo, this this fixing Roma challenge has been one of the craziest ones. From in two seasons to making it here, to then doing this in the final. Bergwijn with an unbelievable run. Lovely cutback. Verratti just smacking it home with his left foot. No chance for Oblak. And I'm glad we're avoiding penalties. Hard break for Atleti. That was quite possibly the last kick in the game. It was, and it's done. We've just fixed Roma in two seasons, and we've won them the Champions League. Enjoy the celebrations. We've won the Champions League. And, yep, that's this challenge completed. Really enjoyed this, man. And if you did as well, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys for next week's fixing challenge. Peace.